Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Joanne with Miss Valerie. <laughs> morning. morning. We're going to share some more Bible stories with you. And all about how to welcome people. And I know you had some good ideas. How did your week go? Thank you. I uh, after uh, we uh, um, zoomed. Uh, uh, dog. I welcomed the dog, and he came for a couple of sleepovers with me, uh, and that was nice. Yes, he is always welcome to my house. He's good company. And yesterday, um, uh, yesterday I was thinking this morning, I welcomed the rain yesterday. I thought, you know, we had not had any rain for such a long time, and I thought, well, that's really good, and especially for the trees and the grass on the floors so um i thought well we can welcome you know rain and we could welcome the sunshine and you know so there's a lot of things that we can welcome besides people I that's think. a great idea i love that idea because every day you wake up and you want to say welcome to the world and most days around here it looks great as it does today a little bit hot but sometimes it's difficult to make choices about what we do and what we share and now in our homes we're doing things differently we don't get to go out yeah. like we want to yeah. we're having to wear masks we're asked to wear masks and very often when we go to the store we can't just go in you wait in line and you take your turn we're learning a lot of things and ways to make a choice and many choices are hard to make places are really very open about what you do and others are closed up because mm -hmm. you can't monitor Yesterday, yesterday uh, I, I was talking to my granddaughter, you know, and she has a birthday. And it was interesting because we were saying, well, this year we can't do this, and this year we. Can't. And so it's like things, everything has changed. We have to make new and different choices unexpectedly really because uh, the normal way we've been doing things isn't uh, the right way at present so it was an interesting conversation yeah, so this story is about making choices and you always know that god is with you to help you make those choices and just like valerie was saying that you have to choose where you're going to have a birthday party who's it's going to come and we pray that god will help us make these choices so today, this story will be interesting for you. Let's begin with a prayer. So make yourself loving, listening, and caring. Thank you, God, for the stories in the Bible. They help us learn about ways to share your love. Thank you that we can be here with our friends today. Amen. Choices are difficult to make. And really? Yes. Yes. And this story is about a young man named Isaac long ago. And he was lonely because where he lived, things were just like they are here. His father, Eliza, was like a helper in the house. And so they were sitting together and they're wondering, how can we help Isaac meet more young people and maybe find a wife? So at this time, as they said, he didn't have much of a chance to go out. So other and the helper started thinking, what can we do so he can soon find someone like as a wife? So they decided that maybe traveling to the old town that they lived in, they would see old friends, meet new people, and maybe find some friends for Isaacs. You may wonder why all we're hearing about is Isaac and his father and the helper. But the story is about Rebecca. Where is Rebecca in this story? Now, if you well, listen, you. you'll well, hear it. Sure, sure. Listen to the story as Miss Valerie begins the story. One day, Abraham called to his helper, Elisha, <clears throat> and said, I want you to go on a long trip. I want you to go to the land where my family lives and a wife for my son, Isaac. Elisha got ready for the long trip. He took plenty of food and water and he took many, many gifts. 
He packed everything on the backs of the camels. Oh, uh -huh. I think he was going over the desert to get to this, uh, the new town. And then he started on his journey. It was a hot, hot day. Probably like we're having today, but they were on a dusty road. So Hump snarling and snuffing, the camels plodded down the road. Day after day, day after day, they traveled. Finally, Eliza looked in the distance and saw a large city. He was so thirsty. His camels were thirsty and they were tired. They wanted to rest. So Eliezer stopped at the well, which is where people would go to get their water then. They were very thirsty, so they were so happy to find the well. And he stopped there and he prayed. Eliza hoped that God would help him find Afriza. Just then, a young woman named Rebecca came well, and she was carrying a big water jar, sometimes on their heads too. Yes. Because they, they didn't have taps in their houses back then. They had a a big well where they had to go and get the water <clears throat> and <clears throat> so uh, Elisha said uh, may I have a drink of your water yes said Rebecca and she lowered her jar down the well brought it up and she gave Elisha a drink while what? he drinking Rebecca said I will also give water to your camels. Oh, she realized they were very thirsty also. What a kind woman Rebecca is, thought Elisha. He, he thanked her for the water, and then he went with her to her home to meet her family. Her father and all her relatives were greeting him and happy to see him. And he gave them many, many presents and gifts. But then he talked with Rebecca's father, and he said to her father, Rebecca, travel back with me to marry Isaac. So Rebecca's father thought and thought. He probably wasn't expecting this kind of a question or invitation. But he took time, and he thought, well, Abraham's son will make a good husband for Rebecca you know what, let's ask Rebecca what she wants to do. And if that's what she wants to do, I will let her go now. Rebecca sat down and she prayed to God and deep inside and all around. Rebecca knew that God would be with her and always help her to make good choices. Sometimes we forget to ask God to help us make choice. Beck is reminding us that that is a good person. <laughs> so the next day, Elisha, sorry, first she said, yes, I would like to be Isaac's wife. I will travel back with you now. She made her decision. And so what was the point of waiting? She may as well go right now <laughs> for her new life. The next day, Eli Elijah and Rebecca and the camels left to travel back to Abraham and Isaac. Bumpity, bumpity, snuffle and snorting. The camels plodded down the road. They had left all the gifts behind, but they carried something that was more important and special. Very yeah. bringing Rebecca to Isaac. What a great story. And how thoughtful Rebecca was in making her decision. She took time out to think about what she wanted, what her family wanted, and what Isaac wanted. And with God's guidance, she made this great, wonderful choice where everyone was happy about it. I know Miss Valerie has some exciting creative artwork to do that's wonderful because you'll be making choices of how to make it as beautiful as possible. Yes, I, I may. Um... I made this uh, I call it collage. Let me show you. This is my uh, collage, as you can see. And then I, at the, uh, the top, 
I have taught loves us. If you want to put, uh, you could also do God helps us make choices too. That may be another uh, idea that we could write on our uh, little collage too. And then um, this is uh, my call. I call this my circle of love because I ended up with uh, the circle. So um, what I uh, need for this collage is I, what I used, um, some colored pages in magazines actually. So if your mummy and daddy have some magazines, you can look at them and then ask them if it's all right for you to take pages out. Don't just go tearing pages out of magazines without getting permission. <laughs> and also, um, I also, uh, if you've got little pieces of like leftover wrapping paper, uh, I, I show you the what I started to do, I'll show you in a minute, with, with some old Christmas wrapping paper that I uh, use every year, but um, that would be fine also, as long as it's got, you know, colors and things on. So um, what you need is some magazine, some colored paper cut into very small pieces, very small pieces. Uh, and um, a piece of paper that would be good. And the good old glue stick is invaluable to have. So if you want to do a circle, I thought you could do a square, I mean, you could do a triangle, you could do a snaky shape, whatever. But somehow I thought, well, maybe a circle, because it goes on and on and round and round forever is a good shape. So what, um, this is the, a new one. So if you're going to do the circle, you start off with a piece in the middle and then you go around. You can cover, you don't, you know, you can overlap the pieces and so on. So I'm just very quickly going to do the next round for you and you can't really see it. So I'll try and show you. Do the glue in a circle around it and then you will just take the colored pieces and then just do one or two and then you'll get the idea. It's very easy to do. Everybody can do this easily. And you could do, you know, more than one, do different. I think it's always fun because you, you never get the same design twice. So it's kind of fun. So then you see, you just go around and then put new ones and then you would glue another circle until you get, you know, a big circle, whatever you want. And then, on this one, I, as I saw at the end, oh, I had a circle, I wasn't sure what I was making, and then I just drew a line um, around it to finish it off. So I thought that might, you know, how many different circles of love you could make, because there is no one circle of love. I don't think everybody's circle is different, and all, or maybe your circle is different every day. And they'll all be different, which is so wonderful. So you create it any way you want. It's a great idea. I know you have an angel prayer, you think? Well, I was just going to say, uh, we still have our, our love and kindness angels. And I thought we would have a, this is an interesting angel, because I, th I believe uh, Saturday is the 4th of July, right? So we have a celebration angel. And, and I think she needs a little help this year because the way that, again, it's different choices this year to celebrate the 4th of July because I don't think we could go to the beach. So I think, you know, we'll have a little barbecue at home, maybe with our family, no big parties. Um, I don't know if they're going to have fireworks on the beach this year, but we'll be watching fireworks from our home. It's maybe off around us, but she needs, you know, she needs a little help because she wants you all to have a happy day and celebrate the 4th of July in maybe a different way. So she needs a little help. And then I thought too, um, this is the gratitude angel and very important angel that, so that every day, we give thanks for something and, and how appreciative we, we are. Like we're, we're appreciative for the sunshine every day. We appreciate that we have good food to eat, that we have a lot of a nice home to be in and a lot of good things. So we have to remember, even when we don't have everything, that we still have an awful lot of things right. that we can be, have gratitude of. Thanks. Well, I help those two angels this week. And now I have um, a little uh, little prayer. I hope everybody has a happy 4th of July. Um, um.
and you have eat and do on that day. And so now we have um, a little prayer about helping um, show God's love and God's caring and helping show God's love and care. I help you and you help me. We can see someone needing you and me. Helping shows God's love and care. I help you and you help me. And I was thinking today, I am going to say, this I think is a very caring. Very caring. And this is how I can show my caring today because I think it's important to remember that wearing the mask helps me. But wearing the mask, if I was sick with something, if I'm wearing a mask, it would be good because it would help you to not get sick. So it helps me and it helps other people. So I thought that was a good uh, reminder how important it is to remember the wearing of a mask when we go out and that it's, it's a helpful, caring thing to do to sort of show God too that we are looking after each other. Yeah, that we care about each other. We don't want anybody to get sick, for goodness sake, do we? Not at all. So, don't we forget. Wonderful messages and things to think about over the weekend. To stay, stay safe together with your family and share your love. Wear your mask. Wash your hands, face. Have a smile <laughs> and say welcome to everyone. A See you next time. smile week. is the best thing to give away, isn't it? Every day. Yes. People really appreciate that. Yes. So you have a nice week too, Miss Joanne. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful on the beach. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow when all the people come, but we'll see. Wait and see. Yeah. There's a few clouds in the sky today, actually, it's but it's cool. still very, it's very, very, very cool out there. Yeah. Lovely. So we'll see everybody next see week. Everybody next week. <laughs>